Hello all. So in this video, we will learn something about normal normalization and standardizations. We have we will understand why do we use it and what what is the requirement. So basically, suppose you have a data set which involves a height and a weight, for example. Maybe height must be in feet and weight must be in kg. So you can have a person who is uh, whose height is suppose 4.5 feet. 5 feet, 5.5 feet and something like that. And corresponding to these heights, you have weights. So weights can be 50, weight, weight can be 50, 70, 100, 120. So basically, your data set will be have values with a variable scales. Now, whenever when I'm saying scales, you should understand how does a machine learning model identifies the data points. So for a machine learning model, your data it is not a factual base your data is not a fact it they will my model will just read the variance in your data set the mean the mean median mode all these things and accordingly it can predict the output so if your if your data set have features with a variable scale, suppose this height and weight. So my model, what will they do? They will assign more weights to these. Like for my model, since these are the high, high range values, so my model will be like uh, affected by these. My model will give the importance, much importance to these values rather than these. For my model, if suppose I draw axis, suppose any axis I'm drawing, it, it may be an X axis or something. And I suppose I'm making a point. So this is five feet, this, this is height. So five feet, six feet, 4.5, something like this. And similarly, if I have my X axis and I am measuring my weight or my I am plotting my weight. So it will be very big lines, okay? 100, 120, 130. So what my model will do, my model may assign, my model may assign high importance to these data sets. Remember, I'm telling may assign. It's not always the case because in case of some tree-like algorithms like decision tree, random forest, bagging and boosting techniques, we do not need the scaling features. Why? Because they do not measure the distance. Okay, they do not measure the distance or they do not use the gradient descent optimization. So for that, it is okay. But for any any algorithm, like for example, logistic regression, which we have seen, we have a sign distance, which is y i w t into x i. So this is a distance. So if my, if my points have higher uh, distance or if my values are higher, so my model will give much more importance to that. So for all those scenarios, we need to scale my model down. So how do we scale it? So we have to do two techniques. One is normalization and second is standardization. So a normal, what a normalization will do, it will change my variables in the range of zero to one, while my standardization will change my features to a normal distributed curve normal distribution which has a mean at zero and standard deviation as one so it will be a kind of normal distribution now where do we use it suppose so suppose you can see it like this suppose i have a high data set which has suppose height as five five feet 5.5 feet 6 feet, 6.5 feet and corresponding I have weight as 50 kg, 70 kg, 90 kg and 120 kg. So what my normalization will do, it will change this value to 0 to 1. So how it, it does, it, it gives the formula is x minus, you can see the formula from this page, this is x minus x mean by x max minus x mean, x into uh, minus x mean by x, ma x max minus x mean. So here, what is my minimum and maximum height, for example? So my minimum and maximum height will be is 5 feet and maximum height is 6.5 feet. So 6.5 minus 5. And suppose I want to change this 
or I want to normalize this. So I'll put this here. So what will happen? This will be 1 and this will be 1.5, which is 2 by 3 or 0 0.75. So my 6 variable will be changed to 6 value will change to 0 0.75 since this is the smallest value. So it will it will change to 0. This is my maximum value. This will change to 1. And suppose what is my 5.5 will uh, what happens to my 5.5? So we can do it like this. This will be 1.5. So we can have 5.5 minus 5 will be 0 0.5 by 1.5 means 1 by 3. So this variable with this value 5.5 will change to 0 0.33. So this is how we will normalize. And similarly, I can also normalize my weight. So this is how my normalization thing will do. And what a standardization will do? It will find the uh, mean, mean, uh, median, or uh, sorry, this will find the mean and the standard deviation and then it will standardize it. So if in, the, in my this example, so suppose I'm considering this weight C. Suppose I'm considering this weight C. So what is the mean of it? So 70 plus 50 is 120, 120 plus 120 is 240, 240 plus 90 is 330. 240 plus 90 is 330 and we have four numbers here. So four, it's a 32 and then 82.5 will be the mean and what will be the standard deviation here so we can find the standard deviation by the uh, formula and similarly we can also normalize it normalize this so we can find the mean we can find the standard deviation and then we can plug in the value of x and then we can normalize it now you in this video you have understood why do we ever need to normalize or standardize my data? Because any algorithm like my K means clustering or my KNN or my logistic regression or my linear regression, okay, my SVM, all these machine learning algorithm works on my distance principle this Euclidean distance and gradient descent optimizes. Some of us like logistic regression, linear regression, all these have the gradient descent as my op as the optimizer. So in these cases, it is very much mandatory to scale the values because if my distance, if so, uh, the algorithm which uses distance as a prediction or the, as, a, uh, as a defining parameter for my cost function, it will really affect it a lot. So here we have to standardize or normalize. For most of the applications, standardization is recommended. Why? Because if you if you suppose you plot a graph between some values, like suppose you have my height had 5.5, 6, and all these things. All this, all these numbers in my normalization are only restricted from 0 to 1. While my uh, standardization will not restrict it to only 0 to 1, it will make it as a bell-shaped curve, which is a normal distribution. So this is much more easier to, and this is much more, uh, it gives much more interpretability. Personally, I believe the standard, you should always go with the standardization, but there are some uh, deep learning algorithms like artificial new neural networks or CNN or all this all this uh, deep learning algorithms will have the importance of normalization which will which will help the model to predict much better so generally my personal favorite is standardization but once you are aware about most of the deep learning algorithm then you will also understand what is how normalization can help you out so I hope in this video, you it, it would have been clear. Number one, why do we need, why scaling is required? Always remember two things here. Gradient descent and distance-based algorithm. These always require feature scaling. And gradient descent, you must be aware that we need to find a 
global minima. So suppose my gradient dis descent is something like this. So if my feature has higher scales, it will start from very, very far and it may stuck at a local minimum. And if my feature is already scaled, so my model will converge to the global minima fast. And thus the, my computation time will be, no, computation time will get shorter. And similarly distance based, so you also know that I have explained that a distance is always a parameter to take in consideration when you are ma uh, making a model with a distance based approach like KNN or logistic regression or linear regression where distance is an important parameter. There the feature scaling should be done because otherwise my model will distinguish based on the higher values if higher values it will take the higher weights so why scaling types of scaling normalization and standardization where to use so where to use is a very tricky question actually but as i said most of the time i prefer to use standardization and it has its own pros normalization you can also uh, can be done as well but most of the time, this uh, standardization will give you much more better interpretability and also it accounts for better outliers. In normalization, we actually, uh, every value will get skewed if I have a lot of outliers here. This, this will also get affected, but comparatively, this will give you much better insights according to me. But there are certain algorithms like deep learning where it is required to use this normalization thing. So basically, I hope these three questions are answered as about how to use and why to use this feature scale. Thank you.